All right, folks, welcome back once again. Today I thought we would just uh, jump right into it and look at this guitar, this Epiphone guitar that uh, a man by the name of Joe sent it. And I, he told me I could tell you that, but that's all I can t say is his name is Joe. You can see in the lights there, the finish. It's, it's like brand new, man. It's like brand spanking new guitar. And he sent it for you guys to uh, enter into a contest with. So if you're not a patron, come over to Patreon now and sign up because you got to go through one building cycle. And uh, we'll have a, have a vote after the, the current contest is over. We'll have a vote on whether you want this guitar up next or that wins guitar that came up second to the... Uh, Oh, I can't think, man. It's been a long day. Hot. Right. Charvel, Charvette guitar. The Winds guitar that came up second behind the Charvette and this one. And we'll have a contest, a uh, vote between those two. And whichever one y'all pick is what we'll have a contest on. I imagine it'll be this one right here, though. Joe, thank you, man. Thank you, big time, brother. You rock. It couldn't happen without you. And there's a lot of people involved it couldn't happen without. Thank all of you, man. So anyways, I'm going to loosen, uh, it's got a broke string on it, as you know, if you watch the unboxing video. I'm going to loosen the strings more, and we'll go down inside this puppy and take a ride, uh, a tour. <laughs> look at the braces and stuff in it, and just look around the inside of it. And then, then what then? I'll put a new string on it, find one, I can see what size gauge these are. And we'll see what this thing sounds like tonight. So, uh, get you something to drink. Uh, your favorite beverage, something to snack on, and uh, watch this short video. Oh, short, yeah, all right. <laughs> Do it! It's funny what size this puppy is. I don't have my glasses on. Wow, it's an 11. If you can see that, you probably can't see it. It's an 11, the six string. What's a six string? 52. 11 to 52 is what this puppy got on it. There you go. You probably can't see that. The strings, I don't know how old they are. They're probably old, but they... I can't tell if they're elixirs. But they're not rusted, man. Not any at all. We'll loosen the strings up so we can get down inside of here. Uh-oh. Sounds like these batteries are soft. Loosen them up just a little bit where we can get inside this puppy. And we're going to have a look inside. You know what? I got a new phone. And I've not tried my, uh... Endoscope on that phone. I'll try it. It'll be way better than a mirror. If it works, if the endoscope works with the new phone, We'll go into with the endoscope and uh, have a look around. Let's see. Maybe I hope this might be loose enough to get this on it. On them. Is this a. Uh, I don't think it's loose enough. Thing of a bob to hold strings out of the way. That's what this is. It's a four string. Maybe I can do that. Pull it out of the way. There we go. Now we get a little better access down in there. We'll use this big light. Davy Joe, thank you, man. It's the first time I've used this light. I'll just stick him way down in there. And back. All right, I'm going to go uh, get the endoscope out. Well, in fact, I got it right here. I'll show it to you. If you ever get one of these, this is what you get. I don't want to lose that broken short string. It just come unraveled like a spring. Here's what the endoscope looks like. You old subscribers have seen this before. This is so little I can't see it. This is a tiny camera. Now this is not like the otoscope. I put that piece of tape on there because that's the top of it. Uh, it's awful easy to get to. I'll, I've got a thing right here that I made. And I can tape this. It's just a piece of coat hanger is all it is. I made it to tape to the top of that, and that's what that tape's for. Because you get disoriented bad with this thing. You get upside down and sideways and crap. Tape this to that top where the tape is, you see. And then I can reach back in there with it like that. 
and uh, it's oriented and pointed to what I want to see and that's what it shows and it shows it upright <laughs> these are just some attachments that came with it's got a thing that screws onto it with a mirror in it and gives you a, I think it's a 90 degree angle I think maybe 45 can't remember what the angle is I never could get it to work but this is really not important okay let me try this on the phone if it works I'll bring you back through it it does audio too, so we should be good. Hold on. Okay, I'll give you a little perspective here. You'll have to forgive me for the shaky. This thing is really sensitive, man. We're going down in the hole and looking back towards the lower rear belt of the guitar. There you can see the tail block. That's the tail block. We want to look back up here at the top of it. I have a light in there already. Here's the bridge pins. I still haven't put that first string on. And I see some metal screws back there. That is for uh, adjusting the height of the saddle on setup. Man, this is just exactly backwards of the way I am seeing it. It's part of the X brace, I think. That's a wild glue job right there for to be an Epiphone glue job. Wow. Didn't care about the squeeze away. And like I say, right there is the neck block. Or not the neck block, the tail block rather. There you can see part of the, I think that's the X brace. No, it's not. Yeah, yeah maybe it is. Right there is part of the X brace. Right behind the, uh, that's the X brace you see there, and a finger brace coming off of the X brace to the side. Boy, they didn't do a very clean glue job on this, did they? Wow. That brace looks like it might be loose, that brace right there. I might have to get the feeler's gauge later on and stick in underneath that to see what, what that is. If it's loose or not. I like to say there is the uh, tail block, the very rear of the guitar. Some writing back there. See my light. I see something up there. That's glue, I think. I'm really shocked at uh, Epiphone. Oh, we have a invader. I'm very shocked that Epiphone would let a glue job go like that. That's a dust bunny, I think. Wow, it looks huge in this camera. There is the other end of the X brace, the other side of it. Hold on, let me move the light and we'll check it out. Okay, there's your uh, tail block once more. Let's give you a little bit of perspective. That's the tail block again. We're going to look up in the uh, the lower belt that is uh, the top of the lower belt, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Wow, this is very, very hard to do. Oh, God, this is tough. <laughs> There's a look up at the top. That is the top. Back over here where the light is. There hangs something from the top. I can't tell if it's alive or not. Piece of dust, I think. Give us a little bit better perspective now, I think. Check out that glue, man. I can't believe Epiphone would do a glue job like that. Very, very hard to hold this camera still and maneuver it around in such a way that I don't even see the X brace. Let me back off a little bit. Okay, there's the keys. Yeah, I see part of the X brace there. There's another brace in the way. 
But I can see now from the, uh, there's the X brace in the, right behind the uh, bridge pins. That's part of the X brace there. More riding. Alright, let's have a look up at the, uh, the neck block now. I'll have to get in there with the feelers gauge and check those because a couple of those braces I saw look like they might be loose. No problem if they are. I tapped on this guitar. I didn't feel any loose braces, but all right. Let's look at the neck brace, uh, the neck up toward the neck block. Now you're looking at the neck block now. I can't get away from it very far. It's going to appear really close. There's just a whole bunch of dust right there. Looks like maybe some writing there. Can't really tell what that is. It's just so close that I can't control the camera. See, that looks like it might be loose right there to me. Could be just the dust making it look that way. I don't know. But I definitely will get in there with feeler's gauge. I'll take this thing up to the shop. See, that brace looks like it's loose to me. I'll get in there. With the, I'll take it up to the shop and blow the guitar out good. And uh, definitely get in there with feelers gauge and check those out. We're going to know when we tune this puppy up. There's something that uh, really looks weird. No idea what that is. Or that. That is really weird to see that in a guitar. That's the side of the guitar right there. There's the back. There's the side. And this is the upper bout. Uh, close to the fretboard, closest to your body. I guess is the best way I could explain that. That white stuff, man. <laughs> it's like they've been a snowstorm in y'all. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Hold on. Check that humidity level out, folks. Uh, if I can get it where the light's glaring, not glaring. 97% humidity. That's nothing new for around here. Tropical storm, I guess it's tropical storm now. Florence is headed this way, so uh, by the time you see this, I guess it'll all be, it'll all be over and done by the time you see this video. Anyways, I'm not gonna put, I can't find an 11. I don't have one, not in the entire house that ever sleeps. I don't have no 11, I don't have a 12. I got 13s, but I don't wanna put a 13 a high E string on this guitar with the possibility of braces being loose in there, okay? So I'm gonna call it, I don't know how long this video is. I, I had, took me an hour and a half to get that stupid camera to work. I had the software installed on my phone and I didn't know there was an update to it. So when I plugged the camera in, it said that uh, update, do you want it? I had to get it to make the camera work. And uh, after fighting it about an hour and a half, it worked finally. So I don't know how long the video is, I uh, have no idea. And I can't find a 10 or 11 or 12 gauge E straight. I have, like I say, I have 13s, but you saw those braces. They look to me like they might be loose. I'm going to take feelers gauge and go in there. That's another video. If you want to see it, say so, and I'll video checking for loose braces. Oddly enough, the buzzing I'm hearing right now is the strings. I'm trying to mute them. You should hold the strings somewhere they will not... Uh, harmonic like the 12th fret is not a good place seventh fret fifth fret is not a good place try to hold them in between and just barely touch them on it for a high E string I want to go in there with the feelers gauge and check those put a mirror and a light in there and take the strings all off or loose enough so I can get in there and if you want to see that say so in the comments and I'll video it but do it quick because I'm going to do that pretty soon 
and then I'll just put a new set of strings on it and we'll set it up and see what the thing really sounds like. Cheers. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tour inside. Uh, I'll see you again if the storm ain't too bad. It's supposed to hit this weekend. This is Friday right now. It's Friday night. I think it's supposed to hit here like Sunday or Monday. I'll probably make another video before that. I don't know. I've been kind of slow on them because a lot of stuff going on. Uh, but uh, I'm not figuring I'm going anywhere. So keep it here. Thanks for keeping it here. And uh, yeah, if you messaged me, I'm sorry I didn't get back to you. I'm writing back to as many as I can possibly do a day. But I just covered, man. Overwhelmed with PMs and emails. And uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, if you want me to work on your guitar, put guitar repair in the subject or the very first words in the body of your message. And I'll try to look for that and get back with you if you want to just see your guitar on the channel or want it repaired uh, the right way or set up, whatever. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Endoscope uh, tour. And I'll see you if I live. <laughs> if we're still here in two or three days. Cheers, team. Whoa. Check it out, man.